plus. I mean, are you guys locals of the area? I wrote Rhaegar, Rogar definitely sounded like he was. Yeah, yeah. I'm a hill he dwarf, and him. this is a this is a hill with dwarves on it. You know. All right, it's working. I think. Okay. So once their surprise initially wears off, Rogar, is that you? Oh uh, yeah, Jimmy, is that you? <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy. Dazzlin. 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 Oh, right. I always get you mixed up with your... With, yeah, anyways, your dog that you used to have. <laughs> <laughs> who, who the hell are these folks you've got with you? I don't know. I just, I just ran into these two, and they said they have a message for you. All right. Go ahead. Oh, uh, well, uh, I bring word All from... Right, go ahead. Hell yeah. Um, she's a little bit concerned that you guys have been out here for days now and might not, maybe even weeks, and might not be aware of uh, the threat in the area. Why wouldn't she just come here and tell us herself? I'm not sure if she's too afraid or too occupied. Um... She's concerned that you don't know about the dragon in the area. Have you heard of uh, the dragon? We've heard a couple things, but you you kind of hear that here in the in the temple ruins anyway. Well, uh, uh, the, the, the townsfolk have confirmed that it's been in the area. Um, she's very concerned for your guys' safety and at least wants you to come into town and check in with her. Make a perception check. Okay, so you notice he's just, like, really unsure. He, he doesn't believe anything that you're saying. Okay. Um, she was a little concerned you might not trust someone that you don't recognize. What I do have here... ...is a letter from her with her wax seal on it. Okay, he takes I it. I will hand it, yep. He takes it, he, he investigates the seal, looking at the seal, then looking up to you, looking at the seal, then looking up to you. All right, this looks to be in order. Halia did send this, but what the fuck is a dragon doing here? I, I just don't understand. Yep, the, I, set, the, the wax seal's got her beard hair in it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't I'm, a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure of the reason. That ain't dragon. beard. <laughs> um, I know you guys have been uh, looking into these ruins for a while. Would it be possible that the dragon knows there's something of value here? Well, that's not. Uh, that's not likely. It's. Uh, there's not much in there. But to tell you the truth, we didn't get very far. We were. We got to the antechamber, and then we were set on by a, a yellow yellow-looking blob thing. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, was it a gelatinous cube? It wasn't a cube. It was uh, just a blob of mucus, it looked like. Uh, did you try to fight, fight with it? God, no! <laughs> well, I just didn't know if it maybe corroded your weapons if you tried to swing at it. I, I threw an axe at it, and I ran. And I swear when I looked back, there were two of them. Mm. When there had only been one. That sounds interesting. I don't know if I've ever heard of such a creature. Well, we really want to find out what's at the end of this temple. So if you guys go in there and clear it out for us, I've got a couple sending stones to give you as a reward. Sending stone. So, Kyle, just because of your, of your, the nature of what you are, um, sending stones are, um, they're basically like little, they're phones, basically, back from medieval times. So a sending stone comes in pairs with each smooth stone carved to match the other so that they are pairing is easily recognized. While you touch one stone, you can use an action to cast the sending spell from it. The target is the bearer of the other stone. If no creature bears the other stone, you know that fact as soon as you use the stone and don't cast the spell. 
once sending is cast through the stones, they can't be used again until the next dawn. If one of the stones in a pair is destroyed, the other one becomes non-magical. Interesting. May I, may I see the sending stone? So he pulls out from uh, his bag uh, one of the sending stones, and then uh, Norbus pulls out the other one, and they he both show them to you, the and they, they are sending stones. Ah, uh, did a skilled transmuter make these for you? I don't know. We found them in there. Have you tested their distance of uh, communication? Well, I was in the temple, and Dazlin was out here in the tent, and uh, I could hear him clear as he was right next to me. This is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Interesting. Uh, are you going to accompany us if we go into the ruins? My gods, no! We're not going back in there! But you'd send us to our doom? Well, who's gonna guard you while you're in there? Are there threats out here we should be concerned about? We've heard weird things at night, I'll tell you that. Interesting. Any idea what might be past the gelatinous blob in the antechamber? That's for you to find out and tell us. We have no idea. Well, <clears throat> Proxus, it seems we've bitten off more than we can chew. Uh... What are your thoughts? I glance over at these two. <laughs> these two or these two? <laughs> the dancing fool. I suppose we could use some help. Those uh, stones could be of good value if you two want to assist us. We could split the reward of the stones or possibly find a use for them. What do you two think? Hmm. You know, I'm quite a hospitable man myself, you know. If you help you, help you. If you need some help. I mean, I... can leave my bros in, in need, too. I, I could see you wanting to help your kin. Yes, of course, of course. Fancy boy, what are you doing over there? Get to it! These dwarves need help! <laughs> hey, just like uh, the paladin. All right, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're just um, helping out of the kindness of your hearts. There's one other condition that I want to make with you before we go and deal with your issue inside of the ruins. All right. You have to at least agree if we make it out alive on top of you giving us the communication stones that you will at least come back to town for one night's time and speak with Halia with us. That's easy enough. We can do that. I mean, if you explore the temple, there's really nothing else for us to do here anyway. All right, we will make a deal then. Well, we'll start packing up then while you're in there and keep an eye out for your backsides. Hold up. Before we go, do you have any extra delving equipment you don't need? You won't need much delving equipment. Uh, everything's pretty clear. There, we did get to one passage from the main antechamber that was pretty well collapsed, but you strong lads should make quick work of it better than we could have. Do you have any extra torches or lamps? Yeah, we, we've got extras of those, and we won't be needing them if we're leaving, so he gives you three torches. Dazzlin, are my eyes deceiving me, or is there a ghost next to you? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> <laughs> or why that was here. Okay. So if I go into GM mode, there should have been a cutscene. Oh. Right where you guys are. And at the beginning, but cut none of it's working, so I don't did understand. Did you do did you put us into cutscene mode? How do you do cutscene mode? Right there. there. Is there anything happening? I don't know no. what you do from here, but it's just telling me to grab a shot. Oh, yeah, the camera changed. Yeah, yeah, my camera's stuck in one spot now. Are you taking a picture? Grab a shot? Yeah. I don't know. I don't like it. There. Hey. <laughs> so, um, alright. We will go in with our torches to the ruins. Oh, wait! Before you go, one more thing. 
We did find a secret door in there. You'll see it partially ajar. But I'm it's, sure that's not the only one. Is Look, that how we get to I Fiction Latinus Club? I didn't ask where you guys keep your pickled dwarfs and onions, alright? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means. And then he just kind of brushes you off and goes to packing up their shit. <laughs> uh. Gents. I'm trying to figure out why I actually care to go in here, but let's do it. That's why I was trying to talk to you two and be like, see if Kyle's Academy would pay you. For additional bodyguard support. He just said, "Gotta help him. Gotta yeah. help him. Gotta go." <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm one of my. Uh, I'm, I'm very hospitable. Yeah, me too. Yeah. My folk uh, hero here, just here, wants here. to help the local people. If you uh, to assist us, we can then get the dwarves back to town, and there is a reward that I will split. Our group will split with you two. But first, oh. we have to clear this mine out for them oh. to agree to leave. I don't know if this Excellent. dancer I'm running... has any need for anything. Excellent! I'm What's running low on Chris? cigars and booze! What, Chris? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure chat out. Oh. What is, the voice doesn't necessarily mean anything. I don't have to have a deep voice. No, but you keep saying chaotic shit. Well, I am chaotic good. Oh. Robin Hood. So as soon as you open the door, a huge musty smell just slams you in the face and it just it smells like pork and stone. Tezik, and I don't want to look around and ruin anything. Wow. You're, still you're still standing here. My camera got pushed to... Oh, just click, click your character. Camera. Click your character tag on the left. Oh, okay. It put me inside, that's why. Oh. So it's just uh... musty, damp... Um, you, you see that these torches are lit. That's, that's, you know, as far as, uh, Dazzlin and Norbus were willing to start putting light within this tavern. But it just feels like th there's an oppressing amount of just darkness and just, um... Press N, to N? Uh, for uh, players. Oh, yeah, the cut will go away. Oh, oh, yeah, now I can see. Um, so do you guys on your right-hand side, do you have a green... Diamond. Yeah, yep. where should we put it? Put it down to four tiles. The right hand side or left? Yeah, but don't um you know keep yourselves pretty zoomed in too. You the green one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean we should at least have line of sight, so like we can't see things on the other side of the oh, door. I gotta move mock. Yep. Yeah, so if you guys do a a, a a four like pan the camera down so it's looking at your back. That's oh, fine. I, I've got a real zoomed in for me and Mock. Whose stream are you watching, by the way? Mock? Uh, boo. Okay. I can watch yours since you control me. I also have it on uh, Twitch if you want to look at that. But you'll be de Never mind, you'll be lagged. Ooh. Chamber looks empty here! I just wanted to have this uh, it looks empty. recording. Um. I'd like to look around for any clues. Okay, so, make an investigation check. Please, this doesn't lag me out. Oh, I don't know where my dice just went. Back here. <laughs> Anything that might uh, give us an idea of what we're dealing with in here? Would you roll? I thought it was a 16. Yep. Where's my book? So you just see random debris scattered all over the place here. Um, this probably was a foyer at one point and it's just totally obliterated from destruction. There's nothing of interest in here. Do I notice this passageway in the corner? Yeah. Uh, Monk, do you want to keep leading the way? Yes, I will. be another dead end well that wasn't a dead end now it's a dead end but it's okay you're learning 
We're gonna have to go through. It looks like we're gonna have to go through the main gates. We walk back to the main gate. Walking back <laughs> to the main gates. It looks yeah, like you free, guys are in front Chris. now. Go ahead and uh, see if that door opens. It must, if they've been deeper. Whoa. Maybe a ritual room. There's a coffin. Get down, get down. Please. So everyone make an investigation check. Hmm. <laughs> I can't investigate crap. Bam. Bam. <laughs> so uh Kyle um and Chris probably counted as a uh... Rogar, because I had him selected by accident. So Kyle and Chris and uh, Chad, you guys kind of focus on where you hear that gurgling and slapping coming from, and, and you look up on the ceiling and you see a big, uh, a yellow, mucusy looking booger uh, crawling across the top of the, the dungeon. Right above us? And it looks like it hasn't noticed you yet. Um, wizard, do something. <laughs> <laughs> should we all should we all attack at once? We know nothing about it. Yes, we don't know if uh, physical attacks will hit it. Can you even reach that high? I'm whispering. I have a crossbow. Well, the one thing we should do is maybe fan out and move slowly. Is he directly above us? Can we tell that? Center yes. of the room. Right in the center of the room. And he has now noticed you and is falling to the floor. So everyone roll initiative. Put us into initiative mode. I roll a seven. Don't time. forget the battle music. Battle music. Oh, we have good rolls. Oh, so did you. Dang. Of course I you do. I didn't get one. Look at that thing. All right, well, I don't want to die. There we go. Yeah. And it's falling to the floor! Watch yourselves! Okay, so can someone kind of help me with the order? Who rolled the highest? Doesn't it put it in a link for it? Or you have to do that? I have to do that. Um, Kyle had a 19. Okay. All right, Kyle had a 20, but a 19 was... natural. Where is our chat book? It's gone. It doesn't matter. Well, I guess, yeah, my roll was higher, so yep. I should go before Chad. So David, whenever we roll Chad. initiative from now on, roll the dice by your character, so I know who got what. Well, what happened, to, what happened to our little chat thing? That it, it. I can't, the thing is, I can't look at it when I'm applying the turn order. But well, we can look at it. I am it should looking be at on it. the oh, right. Hey, Chris, hit spacebar. Oh, that's right. Yeah, duh. Duh. <laughs> so it's me, then Chad. I don't know what Mach got. I got a seven. You got a seven? seven? Seven, yeah. Okay, then Mac has a seven and Chris has a four, depending on what this blob has. Okay, Kyle, you're up. Watch yourselves! We don't know what it's made of! Um, I'm going to see if I can... Hold on one second. He does not. Can I do a quick, a quick action to see if I can tell anything about the creature itself by looking at it? Or will you consider that an action? I would consider that a bonus action. Can I do that as a bonus action? Yes, I'll allow that if you want to make an attack and then do a bonus action to kind of investigate it. Can I do the bonus action first, then uh, my action? You can do bonus actions whenever during your turn, from what I know. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah. go ahead. Uh, what do you want to do, nature? 
or investigation? I would do an arcane check because arcana? it's, uh, okay. yeah. So, question I asked before, where is knowledge Nine. checked? Where it depends on what you're... It depends on the knowledge type. So, yeah. jellies are a pretty common magical construct of nature, so you you kind of have some semblance of understanding that some jellies, based on their color, are resistant to certain damage, but having rolled a 9, you don't remember what jellies are okay. immune to what damage. Have I ever heard of a jelly being an undead? No, not that you know of. Okay. I will cast sleep on the occupied space of the jelly. Okay, go ahead and roll. All right. For so... Your, your so it's How do I, I do it. a saving throw for the jelly? Um this wouldn't have a saving throw, so oh, okay. I'll I'll roll this. Okay. 22. So, I'll explain it to you. The spell sends creatures into a magical slumber. I roll the 5d8. The total is how many hit points of creature the spell can affect. So if it has health of 22 or less, it will fall asleep. If it doesn't, then it wouldn't affect any creatures. So if there was a group of three creatures here, and let's say one had 10 health, another had 10 health, and another had 10 health. If I had a 22, two of them would fall asleep, and one would not. So if it has 22 or less health, it should fall into a slumber. Okay, it does not. Okay. Um, that should be the end of my turn. The monster shakes off its head. Okay, Moon, you're up. Have no fear! <laughs> Actions speak louder than words! <laughs> Okay, that hits. Go and roll damage. Eight damage. And then Eight damage. My bonus on arm strike. What? 23 to hit. Oh, that hits. Dang. Eight more damage. Holy shit. So Six. you see Chad run up to it and do a real quick one-two punch. And you just see that the whole jelly is shock waving after each punch that he does, and it looks oh, like it's God. really quivering. Um, it, it, it just took a massive amount of damage. Told you guys. OP. <laughs> its name is Black are. Pudding. Black. How much you hit it for, Chad? Put it down. I had 16 damage with my quarter. It was Dang. a quarter. If we know, Tazik, that was a quarter staff yeah. slap yeah. and then yeah. a and then an elbow. Oh, okay. I thought you were unarmed. Did you say you're gonna do an unarmed strike? No, I have. So I did my main attack with my quarter staff, and then I have a bonus action as a monk, which is an unarmed strike. Oh, okay. All right, yep. go ahead. Um, so now it's the puddings or the the jelly's turn. So I have, after having been uh, pretty much slapped around by Chad, he's gonna take a a lunging slurp attack at him. Slurp he's walk. going to. Time to dodge. Slap him. Slappy slap. Slap. Slap him, silly. I swear to God, if you roll a 20, Tazlik. <laughs> that is a... Six. A six? Yep. Well, that doesn't hit. Okay. Easily dodge its attack after... He's so slippery. Slippy, yeah. slippy, slippy. I love that I dodged you twice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's its turn. It's not gonna move because it's kind of interested in in Chad. Go ahead, Mock. It's a it's a pudding. Or do you want to move closer to it, Mock? Um, I might not need to. Am I in line side of it? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where am I? Okay. Can you move me close to it? Right up on melee. Yeah. You're there. All right. I got my. I got my. 
Warhammer. I'm going to go ahead and swing my Warhammer down on him. Okay, go ahead and roll for an attack. That's 17 to hit. That hits. Alright, and the damage of this bad boy. I don't see your rolls in D&D Beyond, though. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing them either for some reason. I see five, so it's three plus two. Oh, wait. I've seen some moon stuff. Is but... it because he didn't allocate his new character for the campaign? Probably. I thought I did. Should be. We'll figure it out later. That's five damage. I don't even see. Oh, maybe maybe this is the wrong Rogar. Oh, let me double check. I'm deaf, Chris. I don't know what that glitch is. I'm definitely in there. You can see my rolls in the bads I see now. Oh, this is wrong. Hold on. Okay, my wrong, the wrong character got added to me. That's why. Well, we can go off of what you just did, said. Yeah, we can figure it out yeah, later. Yeah, so, it's five damage. Or as your turn's over, we can you can fix it. I Wait, think that's practice. a turn. Did, did what, Tazic record his damage? Tazic? What was that? Did you record five. the damage Mach did? How much did he do? Five. Five damage? Okay, so Mach slams his hammer down on the jelly. And you just see bits of it start to splatter against the pillars around it. Ew. Okay, is that your end of, the end of your turn, Ma? Yeah. Okay, Chris, you're next. Well, I mean, actually measure this out. One, two, three. <clears throat> you. <laughs> you, black, you black jelly. Bastard. <laughs> Remember, it's yellow, though. You oh. yellow belly test. Even better. Oh, yeah. Yellow belly. A 14. That hits. Oh, wow. That was pretty oh. low, too. It's got low AC. I mean, that's a gelatinous blob. Oh, I can re-roll. Great weapon fighting. You just get a free reroll, is that what that is? Yeah, on ones and twos. Oh, nice. Yeah, seven. Okay, so you slam your great axe down on the jelly, and as soon as you do, it splits in half. Uh -oh. And there's a totally different amorphous jelly now. It seems to have done no damage. I shouldn't use this damage type. It is, they are equal in size, so it looks like you just literally split it in half. Yeah. Is the, does the other one still look like pieces of it are missing? They just look like equally sized masses of mucus right now. I turn... Uh. Spider, it looks like you just split it in half! Is that the end of your turn, Chris? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Okay, Kyle, you're up. I will try to hit it with the one they were already attacking with Ray of Frost. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack. Can it make a saving throw on that? Um, nope, it's just to hit. Okay. 16 hits. Which one are you attacking? Oh, I, I'll, the I'll one know. We, the yeah. one we okay. have. <laughs> Five damage. Okay, so as that, that bolt of uh, that, that icicle shoots right through the pudding and goes right into the pillar right behind it, you see more mucus just, t just fly away from its, its base form. Is, what, is, what do you want to do one, now? Is the one we've been attacking getting smaller? 
after that attack, it is a little smaller than the one next to it, yes. Okay. Um, that is all I will do for now. Okay, Moon, you're up. Be careful, everyone! <laughs> I continue to strike the one in front of me. Okay. With, with bludgeoning. The first attack is an eight. That misses. Yep. And then quarterstaff goes right through her, misses it. Oh my oh. gosh. That's another miss. You punch yourself in the face. So now that it's a little smaller, you just got you you kind of attack it like you were expecting it to be in the size that it was. You just miss it. It just kind of slurps out of the way out of the way of your attacks. Okay, any critical fail damage to myself right Wait, so what order would I put that would you add other blob him? in? Would you add him to the end of it? So behind Proxus? Probably for this turn round of turns. Yeah. Once split. Yeah, that's. I just. I think. Okay. So the jelly uh, that uh, just. Uh, you guys just attacked is going to try and attack Chad again. Um... As, I'm, as I'm missing it. Uh... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm not using DT Beyond again and I'm just doing all this math in my for no reason. Okay, so that is a 16. Misses. Misses? You bet. Jesus. Okay. Oh, I tore a lot of the danger. <laughs> okay, it is now Rogar's turn. Funny backstory, Servius' yeah. armor class is actually higher than this guy's, and I still died. Because mm -hmm. he was rolling 20s. Yep. Chris, can you, can you, or can you pan over to the end? can't see it. You watch oh, a mirror. Huh? Oh, good. Um, so there's just a big thing in the middle. And uh, he made another blob. Yeah. But we've noticed after he separated, as we hit this one closest to you, he gets smaller. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, Poor little feller. <laughs> I'm going to make an attack. Where do I see spells in this game? I don't see any of my spells. You have a tab after actions for spells. I guess it doesn't let me add any spells as player. Oh, yeah, you have to add them. It doesn't auto populate them for you. I will, I will just swing away. Seven. Seven to seven hit? hit? Yeah. I don't actually, but that sure. can tell you. Seven yeah. misses. Okay, I miss. And my bonus action is. That's it. Okay, Proxus, your turn. <laughs> oh, it's on my boot. <laughs> I'm attacking the one in front of me. Okay. 13. 13 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Nine. Nine points of damage. Okay, so...
I'm sorry, just give me one second, I'm trying to figure this out. How much damage did you do, Chris? Nine. Okay, so... As you slash it, it again splits into another smaller... It's two equal parts of what you just did. But they're very small now. So the big one that I'm seeing on screen is actually... Yeah, I just small. don't know how to scale it down. But they're the same size as the one next to Chris. Well, they're probably half the size as the one next to Chris right now. Can you just delete it and put another small one in? I can't find it in the monster menu. Beast. I don't know what it is. Aberration. What's it called? Black pudding? Yeah. Black pudding. Oh, there it is. Well, just use your man. I don't want to waste any time on it. So just uh, assume that the the one that's in the middle of all you guys and the one next to Chris are the same size. They're just really small right now. Okay. My turn is So out. now it's the other black pudding's turn. So it is going to... It's going to attack Chris. Uh, seven. Miss. Okay. Zorbert, your turn. Um. Get yourself, warrior. You're being surrounded. I will cast Ray of Frost at the closest to me one. Okay. Go ahead and roll for attack. 21. That hits. You guys are rolling like champs tonight. Where were these rolls last night? I think it's more important that you're not rolling like a champ. I'm rolling like shit. Six da ice damage. Okay, so the jelly between Chris and the monk there, just as Kyle's ray of frost hits it, it, it totally envelops the whole ochre jelly in a solid state and just shatters. Yeah. Yeah, dead. I'm a Jaina yeah. ice mage. Jaina. <gasps> <laughs> okay, Kyle, is that your turn? You wonder how much yeah. they pay the sound effects guy? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, Moon, you're up. Alright, I will continue my agile attacks on the one in front of me. Okay, go ahead and roll attack. Oops, hold on. Uh, what I do? There we go, okay. Ignore the stuff that's happening in D&D Beyond. 14. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. I do six damage with the quarter staff. Okay, so as you slam down with your quarter staff, it just kind of explodes and splatters all over the place. Um, just dissipating into the cracks of the dungeon floor. Okay, so it's out of the way. Cool. Um, so question in D&D, I didn't attack. Can I still move and do a bonus action? I don't yeah. know if you kill a creature with your one attack but you've got two attacks so i i'm pretty I sure you can move yeah, and you can then move use a bonus action. yeah as your bonus action you can move yeah for sure I don't, well, I'm I, not, I, I'm, don't I you don't... you can have movement bonus action and action right yeah yeah like a bonus action would be like, like... yeah because you just you were there already you just did one attack yeah. so yeah that's fine so i can move up to the other one poke it with your toe and then do a yeah do a spinning crane kick, right? My bonus because my bonus action is you the get other two spray. attacks per round. That's my bonus action, correct? Okay. It's only a one d four. I guess I don't. Uh, yeah, that sounds that makes sense. Then. Yep, so that twenty hits. to hit. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> Eight damage with my spinning crane kick. Jesus. 
Okay, so you slap, like, a, a good chunk of it off towards the wall, and it splatters all over the place behind the alt, behind the coffin here. Yeah. And it's about, it's about, it's less than the height of that coffin behind it now. I'm wondering if, how do I make things smaller? Okay, uh, Rogar, you're up. Yeah, so I will move towards. Okay, just hit it from where I'm at. It's fine. It's within five, yeah, but you might smash okay. your hand into the pillar. Not like a corner. Yeah, I'll go low. Going away. You're actually out of range. One tile's five feet. Yeah, I don't, I don't know oh. if you can attack diagonally. Oh. I'll move into range and. Do you want to go around time. Chad yeah, or do you want to go around the pillar? Around Chad. But that's a ten to hit. Ten to hit, that hits. Oh nice. Roll damage. Twelve. Okay, so nice. Mox slams this great hammer onto the, the feeble looking jelly in front of him and just splatters it all over the place and it dissipates. Thus ending combat. I knew, uh, I thought a trick was to kill the original one first. Okay, so now that the antechamber here is covered in yellow mucus, now what do you guys want to do? Take us into exploration mode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, Was this boots. the only threat they were talking about? You must stay alert! We do not know if there are more! Keep your eyes on the ceilings! Does the mucus look like it could deem any useful qualities? I want to investigate. Uh, make an arcana check. Or an alchemy. Is there an alchemy check? Is such thing as an alchemy so. check? No, it's arcana for that stuff. Okay. Oh my god. You stink at these rolls. Okay, guys. so. <laughs> I don't know why the game's not giving me anything. Like with the color of the jellies and their immunities, you, you can't remember if there are any alchemical properties to the jelly mucus. He slips in the mucus. <laughs> <laughs> it splatters in his face. Hmm. <laughs> I think we should oh, check you're... out this sarcophagus. Yes, what is in the sarcophagus? Maybe we should check it. Okay, make an investigation check. Whoever wants to... Who wants to look in the coffin? Me. <laughs> okay, make an investigation check. Maybe we should not stand around. That looks even better. 16. One, two, three, Okay, push. so you notice that the top of the altar is just completely covered in, in stained blood from years and years worth of sacrifices in this temple. Um, you try to lift the cover of the, the altar and it, it doesn't budge. Maybe we should all try together. So you're, you're all going to try this together? Yeah. Okay, so um, everyone make a strength check. This goes to the other side. <laughs> How do you do a strength check? Just click strength. Number. Ooh, wrong character. Weak, weak, Norbert. <laughs> the, the feeble wizard. Oh, that was saving throw. Whoops. Make sure you guys are rolling next to your guys for me. 12 for me. What's strength? My... Is that strength? Just a strength roll or a strength saving roll? Just a strength roll. Okay, so as you guys are all lifting together, you, you notice that Mach's side is starting to come up a little bit, and Chris's side also, and then roll Moon's the side, and then it, it finally gives way under the, the pressure of your strength. And, um, the kind of flops towards Kyle's side. Uh, Kyle, make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Nine. 
Okay, so you barely dodge out of the way before the heavy top of the coffin slam would have slammed on your feet. Um, inside, you see. You can let me uh, open it now. Oh. Nice. Yeah. So inside, you see 15 gemstones. Score. I light my torch and look in quick for another look. Okay, make an investigation check. Forgot we had torches. It's like not translating sometimes. There we go. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go in like five minutes, by the way. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's probably good. Minute. So the the gemstones just glitter in the torchlight as you put it into the coffin. Um, but that's all you see is the is the fifteen gemstones. All right, I I have an empty pouch. I'll just stick them in. Okay, you you slide the gems and they click clack click right in your gemstone bag. So is, is that it? Is that all we got time for? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, that's where we're on it, boys. Yeah. So since we, I, I thought we would have finished this, but Mock had to make a character, then you guys had to have gay sex in the woods. So, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> whenever we want to play, I'm ready to go. Still, so hey. I'll just start oh, studying tomorrow. I'll just the raid. Yeah, we can do that. Maybe we won't even raid. <laughs> Maybe not. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I'm over. I'm over wow, now that we're doing this. Yeah. Uh. I didn't even see if anyone even clicked my latest sign up. The only gemstone I got are pearls on this thing. How much are these gemstones worth? Praise to have it. Are you praise. asking them? I can take a look at them and see if I can. Uh, would it be Arcana? I just no. it just says gemstone. Are they unidentified gemstones? Is that what we're calling them? It just. Gemstones. I mean, I'm trying just, to add an item. I just want to make sure I'm doing the right one. Yeah, just gemstones. That's all it is. Pearl is like the only elemental gem. That's a wondrous item. No, it's nature. Just a so I can uh, try to take a look at it with my horrible ro rolls and see what I. Did. I mean, I well, can't even find any items other than those ones in this. Open auto. the bag. I'll have to open the okay, I open the bag and show them to you. Yeah. Twenty. Nature. So I should be able to tell what kind of stones or gems they might be. So um yeah. just looking at the gems, you've seen them before in, in your arcane studies and in you know, general shops in Neverwinter. And uh, you, you put a value of about ten gold per, uh, per gemstone on them. Yeah. We're rich. I'm a dwarf. I I know rough stone. Give me some of those. Like, mm, yeah, not bad. <laughs> In due time. Hog of the gemstones. All right. How do oh, I bring? I just I'll bought my, out my hero forge guy. For a I, time. I survived a night, so I bought my hero forge guy. Oh my goodness. So I do you guys want to end right here, or do you want to take a short rest, or what do you want to do? Um, I would always love to take a short rest, but. Do we only um, get two per long rest, or though, right, or something like that? Uh, yeah, you can't you can't sleep too long in this game, or something like that. So, Kyle, with your class, all the spells that you've cast, you have to wait until a short rest to cast again, or For can my, you just cast them as rest. many times in, as you want? I can cast my cantrips any as many times as I want, but my okay, level but like spells sleep, have blocks. Sleep, sleep, <laughs> you have to wait. You have to sleep. Or you have Correct. to rest. Well, um, yes. Okay. I have so many slots for those spells. You wouldn't okay. know where to begin. Just so, what do you guys want to do? Just so I know for when we start well, off. <coughs> we don't have a we don't have a safe way to rest. We have to do guard shifts and all that. Yeah, we would have to do guard shifts. Um, all right. See you, boys. Bye. Yeah. Later. So we can set up guard shifts for a few hours rest, so that we each get one hour rest. To okay. Continue. So who's who's the last one awake? 
the monk is the last one on guard shift. Okay, so uh, Chad, as your guard ends, you you start to hear. Oh my god! Yeah. And then through the through the cracks uh, between these two braziers, uh, another I under jelly away. slips out. <laughs> And that's where we'll leave it for tomorrow. Oh my god. Wake up! Wake up, more jelly. Um, okay, how do I... Do I have to wait till it's done processing? You're here for it, guy? Yeah, you guys both did this. Oh, there he is. Let me download him. Well, you don't have yeah, to Yeah, after Chad did all that damage, he's like, Fuck yeah, I'm making this guy. You don't have to download them to put them into Hero Forge. Oh, I, I don't see. know. I kind of like Boring. how stupid you look. <laughs> I, oh, I it. do too. Yeah, I love I'm, it. I'm, I'm kind of mad. It's kind of stupid like him. I'm kind of mad because I wouldn't have done that voice if I had my guy in here. I did that voice because that guy looked like Bruce Lee. <laughs> I know. I loved it. Right, so are you going to do a, a new voice? voice? No, I don't know yet. Voice. It has to be kind of squeaky as a halfling. Right, but that was pretty ridiculous. I've already kind of enjoyed this, and now I don't, he doesn't look as good. He looks more like an Asian short Nate. Oh. <laughs> That's I the voice. Give me, give me control. Oh. 